It's more of a good afternoon, but I've been awake for a little. I've just been kind of chilling in bed, if I'm gonna be honest. One of my dogs just had surgery, so I've had to basically like be her little babysitter because me and her are like bonded. So I've just been chilling in bed with her, making sure that she's comfortable. But it's time to get up and do some choreography, actually. We're gonna start by making a little to-do list of like choreo that I wanna start thinking about today or start actually like conceptualizing. But this is the day in the life of a dance teacher. I was a competitive dancer since I was like seven-ish and I competed up until like a few months ago because I graduated. And so I am now returning as just a choreographer like teacher. I taught and choreographed a little bit last year, but I did a lot of like teacher assisting. My glasses are really dirty. I need to clean them. But now I'm just a choreographer. And so I have 11 dances that are completely my responsibility. And so far I think they're going pretty good. So feeling excited about that. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, make myself a little bit of breakfast. And while I'm eating, I'm gonna make a little to-do list. just finished eating and I made my little to do. I'm gonna read it to you. The first thing is to figure out how a certain dancer in my class is gonna get to a different spot because I thought that she did her aerial one way but turns out she does it the other way. <laughs> you know, we'll figure it out. I feel like that one won't be that hard. I just need to like figure out the counts for that specific section and then do some choreo for tween small, no, tween large group lyrical. I have like vague choreo that I wanna do but I'm trying to decide if it's gonna be a little too hard. I am like bad at doing choreography where I just am very aspirational where I'm like they're gonna be able to do it most of the time they can like if they work hard but for large groups I need to remember that like it's a lot of different levels in there so I can't be going crazy like I do I have some choreo for senior small group lyrical which is in this shirt I have loved that song forever and I know it's like a super popular competition song but I love it and then any extra choreo I'm inspired to do. I should probably start on some of the solos that I have to do, but dance doesn't start back until September, beginning of September. This week, Wednesday to next Tuesday is the watch week, so like the parents can come in and watch, but next Tuesday is like the last day. So this week is my, technically my last like class alone with these like senior groups and I have a junior group today too. So my iPad is charging right now. I just plugged it in because that's where all my music and stuff is. Before I do any of the listening to the music or anything though, I'm gonna get myself warmed up. This outfit is not the fit that we're gonna be wearing to teach today. It's what I wore to teach yesterday, but I fell asleep in it. It's because I was reading in the book that I'm reading, I finished it and then I immediately fell asleep after finishing it. But anyways, I'm gonna get myself warmed up, but oh my gosh, I have to tell you a little story about when I was just eating. I got a call, and first of all, me getting a call at all is just like immediate like, <gasps> because when I call businesses or like literally anywhere that's not just like a personal call, I make like a little script for myself, like literally like bullet points and stuff. But when I get called, it's literally like, what am I supposed to say? But it was from my physical therapist. And I was kind of confused because I finished physical therapy two weeks ago, but it was just like a check-in call, just being like, how are you feeling? Like, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. But it was so awkward because she goes, yeah, your therapist just wanted me to do like a check-in call and see how things were feeling. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. And there was like dead silence. Then she goes, so how are things feeling? And I was like, oh. I didn't realize I was supposed to respond to that question immediately, but it's okay. We got through the call like a big girl. But anyways, let's get warmed up so that I don't like pull my hamstring or something while I'm trying to choreograph. I'm also going to do a few of the physical therapy exercise stuff so that I don't hurt myself further. <laughs>
iPad is officially a little more charged so I can actually like listen to my music. I need to figure out that one dance that I was talking to you about where I accidentally um, thought the girl was doing the aerial on the wrong side so you can watch me try to fix my mistake. Before we get all the way into me like fixing my whole life, the app that I use to do spacing and stuff is called Arrange Us and I use Good Notes to write down all of my choreography stuff. actually like really proud of myself I keep turning to my windows right there and like this is not the lighting but this is but I'm really proud of myself because I actually like got three of my little choreography goals done within an hour which is really fast and I'm proud of myself now I'm gonna start thinking about my two soloists because their dances didn't start in the summer but they start in the fall so I need to start thinking I have like all of August to use my creative brain but I figure now is good a time as any and I'm gonna try to get maybe at least like the first four eights of each of their dances like cemented down how I want them just so that I have like a a springboard like a starting point to figure the rest of it out but choreography is hard I love to choreograph but I make it like my mission to not have all of my stuff look the same so trying to like come up with moves and stuff involves like me having to like research other dances that I see where I'm like that move was really cool like whatever but it's hard but I like it so it's like rewarding hard okay I'm gonna try to brainstorm a little bit and then we're going to probably get myself a little more ready like in an actual teaching outfit look at that sweet face we just came back we're meeting them out and we're doing a little lunch dinner <laughs> break and then I have to feed the dogs and then I actually have to um, get myself ready. I did pretty good on starting on those solos so I wish that I could like show you more of me doing it but the music is all like copyright issue. Maybe I'll show you a little sneak peeks of stuff from tonight and just put different music over it. Fed the dogs. We're going to quick shower. He hates this thing. Good girl. Okay let's go take a shower. I'll show you guys my outfit as soon as I get out. I took an everything shower and I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare quick and then put on my little outfit. I think I'm just gonna put the ordinary like, I don't even know what it's called. It's like the caffeine serum or something under my eyes cause I'm not gonna wear makeup to dance today. And then we gotta get dressed. Hey, we're brushing out the hair. We're going a little quickly cause again, I did an everything shower so, but I did it pretty fast. I just need to take the dogs out before I leave. OOTD is this Dance Academy shirt. Oh, it has stuff on it. Ugh. JK, not this Dance Academy shirt. We'll change it. Black Gymshark sports bra is the word I was going for there. Airy black camo leggings. <laughs> just got back from dance and I'm aware that this lighting is horrendous to say the least. I do have like clips of the dances. I'm just gonna put little baby bits in. Obviously what you just saw was like works in progress so don't be too judgy. Also so many people have been gone like every week of the summer because of like random stuff so it's been so hard to like make formations and stuff. But now we're gonna go inside because my mommy is making me some dinner. I think she's making spaghetti and garlic bread and uh, what else is she making oh and she's also giving me some pineapple so I'm really excited but let's head back inside and get into my comfy clothes and we'll get into what my nights look like after dance I just got back into my room and I'm sitting at my desk because I want to show you kind of how like even though I'm not technically at work 
even as you saw like earlier, I'm still working. So I'm not clocking in hours, but I'm still doing choreography and stuff at home. And right now what I'm gonna do is kind of do a reflection on like what I taught today and what dances need a little bit of like TLC when it comes to me being prepared for choreography. And also like which dances do I wanna teach new stuff to this next week? Others like that I wanna clean. And then I'm also gonna be checking my emails and stuff because I am a college student about to be a future college student so i'm getting like a billion emails from my college we're gonna do all that and you can watch me basically prepare <laughs> doing and what you just saw me do was basically plan out what I'm gonna be doing which dances so I highlighted where I like stopped the choreography where that's like where they're up to and then I wrote on the dances that I want to add some more choreo to and then I planned out in this planner when I'm going to create that choreo being a dance teacher is definitely not for the weak of heart I'm not trying to say that it's like the hardest job in the world but it's definitely like pushing your creativity and also your time management and your willingness and ability to work with kids and then adapt if something doesn't work out quickly and it's just a lot a lot of skills but I think that it's really helpful and I'm really excited that I have some of that teaching like experience under my belt already I had six classes last year and they were mine like I choreographed them but I was also constantly like switching between the teacher role and like the assistant role and then some of the kids that I taught were old enough that I danced with them and now it's like shifting to just that teacher role is just kind of weird but it's been fun it's definitely a new experience a learning experience but for the rest of the night I'm basically just going to unwind and read I'm also just realizing I definitely left my earrings at the studio my little like paperclip ones I took them out when I was teaching the lyrical dance and definitely left them there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed getting a little peek into what I do every day. If you want to see more of my gorge face, you can look at my socials in the description below and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye.